This is Blondie Locks reporting live from the Dragon Stables at Ever After High, where dragons once again roam the hallowed halls. <laughs> it would seem the students of Ever After are eager to adopt these pesky pets. <laughs> Though the trend seems to be that a dragon chooses you. Oh! Cotton candy? Oh, yummy gum! What is with the sudden assembly? Mm, it's top secret. No one knows. I heard there's a special guest. Oh, this is exciting. It is my honor to welcome back our most successful graduate, our beloved queen, Snow White. <laughs> Is she up to? Oh, a little bird told me that dragons have returned to my beloved alma mater. So it's time we restored the good old ways. Today, the dragon games are reinstated at Ever After High. The dragon games are tough, yet elegant. And I want my Ever After riders dressed accordingly. I've hired the creative team of Lizzie Hartz and Ashlyn Ella to design all new dragon wear. <laughs> These looks are lightweight, flexible, and fashion forward. Not to mention fireproof, iceproof, and explosion resistant. Adorable! Now, I can't very well bring back dragon riding in an old, dilapidated arena. If you'll all follow me outside. Allow me to present the new Ever After High Dragon Center. <laughs> First will be the choosing of the two teams and captains. Following that, since your dragons are not fledged, today you will merely walk your young dragons through their paces. Aww. Aww. But no fear, the evil queen will today offer a master class demonstration of dragon riding. <laughs> You may choose first. I choose... Apple White. <gasps> but no, I, I should be on my mom's team. Let me tell you a little story. When I was released from my mirror prison... No! Uh, I mean, yes, I'll, I'll be on your team. <laughs> it's just a game, right? Let's mix it up. Your turn, Mom. I choose Darling Charming as Captain of Light. Captains, choose your team. The teams will now take the field. Nothing but my ever after. Don't want to see my dreams get shattered. Everybody says I have to, got to wait around just to be rescued. I'm gonna sing alone in a tower. I should have worked my princess power. Standing up and I am stronger. Time in a generation, full-size dragons have taken the field. Coming to you live from the grandstands. Not too hot, not too cold. Yay, Dragon Day! My wish has come true! And there you have it. This day has turned out to be just right. Have fun and play safe. Remember, this is just a game. This isn't just a game. You're here to win by any means necessary. Huh? 
victory is all that matters. Take your positions. Stop and smell the flowers, darling. I thought you knew a secret spot where we could hide. I don't, but she does. <gasps> a woodland pixie? How exciting! How do you do? The pixies protect the enchanted forest. They're very magical. <laughs> she says her name is Featherly. <laughs> Dearla. Oh, she knows you're hurt, darling. Dearla says that should heal you. Wow, good as new. And this is Halo. We better move somewhere less out in the open. Yeah. Please help us, Pixies. We need a place to hide from the evil queen. Behold, C.A. Cuban, adopted daughter of Eros, the god of love. She currently attends Monster High, but is about to discover that another school is in need of her very special talents. <laughs> Fairy tale <sighs> destinies are now anything but certain. Will princesses end up with their princes? Will the rebel students now find true love? These relationships will need Cupid's help <laughs> to end happily ever after. Hello, fair lady of love. I am Hopper Crokington II, and I am in desperate need of your counsel. I know just what every frog needs to become a prince. My lady, wait! <laughs> hey there, you're Cupid. I think they should call you Cute-Pid. Oh, when I get tongue-tied, I turn back... Blast! If only I possessed my poetic skills while in human form, but so flustered I become near the beauty that is Briar. You know what? I got this. Tell me how you feel about Briar. Well, there is none that can... Hopper! Wait, you're the secret admirer who wanted to meet here? I mean, look. First, you send me a basket of chocolate-covered <laughs> flies. Then a smelly bouquet of swamp grass. I'm sorry, but I just don't want to go to the dance with you. My sweet Briar, the beauty of this night is not compared to the beauty you possess. Hopper, I've never seen this side of you. Hey, Cupid. Oh, Dexter. Oh, anything else you want to say? <laughs> Oops. You're just so... <laughs> I mean... I mean... Blast. Ew. Oh, ribbit. <laughs> I got the shoes. Now, how about a hug for your hero? Boy, I hope that's you, Hunter. You know it, Pumpkin. Thank you so much for getting these. And now you have to leave. It, huh? Sorry, sweetie. But I have less than an hour to set up the display for these new shoes. Blondie and Briar are going to be here any minute, and they can't know about us. Well, maybe... Uh-huh, sounds great. And then you and You're I... You're the best. Get some coffee. And now I'm here. Thanks for helping, you guys. Now, we don't have much time, but... No problem, Ashlyn. I see where you have the platform set up, and I would move it 20 inches to the left, so the natural light hits the shoes, giving them that halo effect. Just right, right? Um, I guess. <laughs> Briar, thoughts? <sighs> Pesky. <laughs> oh, it is on! And that's why glass slippers are totally overrated. I hope I can find them. Pesky. That is the last straw. Hmm. <laughs> We've only on. 
unpacked one box so far. And the store opens in less than a minute. We're never gonna make it. You can run, Pesky, but you can't hide. Hunter, no! Free shoes for helping or what? You ready for that hug, hero? Or how about a kiss? Pesky! Sorry, Carmine. I'd love to race again, but I gotta get back to school. My ears. Go find our pack. You beat that wolf in a race. How do you do it? I'm all ears. Kitty, you can't tell anyone about that. <laughs> Three? <laughs> Raven? Let me guess. You... Yeah. Wanna talk about it? I just... I guess it would be a relief to finally tell someone. My family is... hiding a secret. Your mom, Red Riding Hood, married the big bad wolf? Don't worry, I won't say a word. It's not you I'm worried about. We're running laps today, which you'll find very important when some crazy old bakers try to eat you. Okay, now ready, set! Kitty! Sneakers actually worked. What? I'll show you. <laughs> Raven, thanks. Don't worry, Kitty. It'll wear off. Eventually. And so, there I was, Professor Jack B. Nimble, about to jump over the candlestick when I realized it wasn't a candle at all, but a nest of fire-breathing baby dragons. <gasps> your assignment is to come up with a tall tale of your own. See, it's just that since I'm cursed to never lie, I'm not real good at stretching the truth. Well, then why don't you try to find a real life story that is so dramatic that it sounds like a tall tale? Perfect. Wait, where am I gonna find one of those? My, what big muscles you have. All the better to hug you with. Wait a splinter. You two are dating. What? No, that's silly. Of course we're not. Romantic picnic. Um, heart-shaped cupcakes. Really, guys, come on. Uh, these aren't romantic. My uncle made them. What about this? Your initials inside a heart? Oh, we didn't do that. Must have been that, uh, woodpecker. Bad woodpecker. Uh. Okay, well, what about this? Ashlyn, I'm so glad we're secretly dating. Love, Hunter Huntsman. I mean, come on. You wrote that for me? <gasps> when Professor Nimble asks me if anything dramatic happened today, I'm gonna have to tell everyone about you guys. I can't lie. What are you gonna do? I might as well know. Wait a splinter. I think I have an idea. Well, I was out walking in the woods, and I saw something pretty amazing. I saw Hunter and a hunter That girl is a nut. In all the right ways. This is so obvious. I mean, come on. Uh, Dex? Dexter? Dexter Charming! Uh, I'm up! I mean, hi, Cupid. Uh... <laughs> what is up with you? <laughs> <laughs> Raven. You know, Briar is having that party on Friday, and I want to ask Raven to be my date, but I'm, I'm just afraid I'm going to mess it up. There are other girls at this school. You'd ask Raven out for me? Not what I meant. I, I wish I was more like my brother. If I was the great, daring, charming, girls would just fall for me. 
literally. Why don't you try your asking out skills on your friends? That's a great idea! You're the best! How about a little thank you kid? The art of conjuration, making things... Hey, Briar, if I said something like, you want to go out with me, uh, would you? Oh man! So, did it hurt? Did what hurt? When you fell from heaven, cause Maddie, you are an angel. You speak riddleish too? <laughs> oh man! So, this weekend, you, me... <laughs> Ew. Oh. oh man! Mind if I sit? Raven, uh, um, you come up here too? Best place in the whole school to watch the sunset. Hey, would you go with me to Briar's party on Friday? What? La, 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 la. Um, hey, Apple, could you not sing in the morning? <laughs> or ever? Oh, you big kidder. Mirror, mirror, so smart and cool. Who's the fairest at this school? You are Apple White. Greatest mirror ever. I'm gonna borrow some jewelry from Briar. BRB! <laughs> I wonder if some magic can get a little more curl going on here. <laughs> no. <gasps> la, 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 la. Magic mirror. What do you think? What do I think? <laughs> My mirror. Did something happen while I was gone? Um, no. Not that I remember. This is a royal fairy fail. Come on, we're gonna find you another mirror. My mirror? Here you go. What? You you don't have a bigger mirror? You never know when you need to look good on the go. I'm having trouble finding one that's just right. Some of these are too narrow, too wide. Oh, I don't like the frames. You want to borrow my mirror? Well, okay, just let me do one quick checkaroo. Oh. You're never getting that away from him. Yeah, I know. Okay. This is just the worst thing that's ever happened to anyone. Apple, I broke your magic mirror. Oh, I know. You what? Duh. You're supposed to be the most evil person ever. I just assumed you did it and then lied about it. Until my new mirror arrives, I know how you can make it up to me. Is this the perfect thing to wear to crown Killer's class? Of course it is. Fairest one of... Ow! So heavy! Stop breaking character! I don't want to keep calling you the fairest. Come on. Be a good evil roommate. Everyone at school is buzzing about the Royal Student Council elections, but there's only one choice for president. She's running unopposed again. Apple White. Blondie, just because I don't have an opponent doesn't mean I'm not going to work my crown off. I'll use my debate time to outline my plan for royal dances, royal fundraisers, royal canned food drives, royal blah and royal blah and royal na na na. Wouldn't it be great if someone else... I'll do it. I will run against Apple for president. Uh, what now? Vote for Maddie! Vote for me! <laughs> Hats over crowns, vote for Maddie. Oh, uh, hey, Raven. Uh... Dexter, vote for me! Ow! I mean, oh boy, thanks so much for that pin. Uh. So here we go, fellow fairy tales, the Ever After High Royal Student Council debate. First question goes to Apple White. Why would anyone not vote for you? Let me just say, I will preside over this school like I will my future kingdom. Perfectly. <laughs> and Maddie, my question for you is, why would you run against Apple? Are you... <laughs> Bad? Why, yes, and thank you for noticing. If the squirrel eats acorns but never a steak, how much water fills up the lake? <laughs> Excuse me? You heard us. Apple's been president long enough. Maddie's mad. I have a terrific idea. It'd just be oh so swell the council could have the castle doors widen for the not so tiny of us. I think we can make that happen, but I need to check with my co-president. For the cave of the bear is open so wide. Would you really change the pull of the tide? <laughs> what she said. <laughs> you had correct, little Raven Queen. Uh, Professor Rumpelstiltskin? This is totally unfair. You can't test us on chapters 1 through 34. We've only studied up to chapter 2. I cannot tell a lie, and well, that, that's...
that's just not very nice. <laughs> you guys don't know about Professor Rumpelstiltskin? At the beginning of each year, he gives an insanely hard test. His students have to ask for extra credit, <laughs> which is just spinning straw into gold for him. The test is tomorrow morning. Look, I'm totally getting stress splinters. Well, I could tutor you guys. I've been studying on my own, like, forever after. Royally cool. Ooh, let's start with the basic elements. If we can't wake up Briar, we're totally gonna fail the test. Man, if only she took studying as seriously as partying. Oh, that's it! <sighs> hey guys, what's up? You, finally. But now you have to stay awake and help us. Well, there's one thing I'm always up for. A study party! Yes! yes! The basic elements. There's pixie dust and dragon fire. Pixie, pixie dust, dust and, and dragon, dragon fire. <laughs> Time is up. Let's see how you fail. Raven Queen, an A. Apple White, an A. Cedar Wood, A. Hunter Archman. Never a. underestimate Brian. the power Hunter of a Archman. study party. <laughs> <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall. Why is life so unfairest after all? I spy doubt and doubt makes room for the worm to get into the apple. Follow me. Follow me. What? I can restore things to the good old ways, steer Raven on her course of evil, so you get your happily ever after. But I can't do it from inside the mirror. Even if I trusted you, I can't let you out of the mirror. That would be wrong. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought maybe you were like your mother. When her time came, your mother embraced her fairy tale destiny. She did whatever it took. I am not afraid. I will do whatever it takes. And I am like my mother. And my destiny is mine! Everything was set in stone But now you're feeling like a different